Welcome back. In the previous lesson, I demonstrated how to download the 4.0 beta Android Studio version directly from your Android Studio itself, right? So now that you've downloaded and I've done the same, I'm going to go ahead and in this lesson, I'm going to install the Android Studio 4.0. I also talked about the difference between these two versions, canary build versus the beta build, right? Of course, you can see it's just the getting the bleeding edge features in a lightly tested build. So here's a key you know, point here. Whereas in the beta build, it's the well-tested build. So now that you've downloaded and stored or saved within a folder, I'm gonna to navigate to one of my folders here. And the folder is Android Studio 4 that I created in the previous lesson. And within this folder, you'll notice a bunch of files get installed, including the uninstall.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the bin folder here. And within the bin folder, I'm going to go ahead and, and simply install studio64.exe. Okay, there's also a studio.exe version, but I'm going to go ahead and do the 64-bit version. So I'm going to double click on this, and this is going to go ahead and start the installation process for Android Studio version 4.0. Now the first dialog box that appears is simply asks me import Android Studio settings from. Now, if you already have it installed, in other words, the previous version, you could use the same folder, right? Or you can specify do not import settings and it's gonna install for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose do not import settings because I like to maintain the existing version of my Android Studio, whereas I'm also going to install the newer version. So the next splash screen simply tells you Android Studio powered by IntelliJ platform. And here we are on the welcome screen for Android Studio Setup Wizard. Simply click next on the first screen. The next screen asks us to choose the type of setup you want to install for Android Studio. In other words, you want to use standard, will install the most common settings and options, or if you're an advanced user, you can choose the custom and then you can select your own options as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose custom just so that you can see all these options. Click next. This is the folder or the path, right, on your C drive and software folder, and then subfolders Android Studio 4, Android Studio, and then your Java JRE. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. This is just selecting the user interface theme, whether you want the light theme installed for Android Studio or the dark theme, right? So you can choose. So I prefer the light theme. Click next. In the next SDK component setup, you can specify the API 29, in other words, what goes with the SDK platform itself. And if you choose to, this is going to install the API 29 for Android 10Q version. And then if you do not have the Android virtual device, it's also going to go ahead and install the virtual device as well. Now what this does is simply allows you to preview your Android app as you're developing your application into an emulator, okay? So that's all this does. So you can specify whether you choose to have the Android virtual device or not. So I'm gonna select these options and click next. And of course, the total size, keep in mind, is about a gig and a half, right? So 1.5 gigabytes. So this is gonna take a while, of course, to install as you grow the size of the installation. Also a warning, on the bottom here, an existing Android SDK was detected. The setup wizard will only download missing or outdated SDK components. So if you already have it installed, fine. It will give you this message. If not, you will most likely not get this warning sign at all. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And it also detects your system can run the Android emulator in an accelerated performance mode. So the two gig is recommended for the RAM allocation or the memory itself. I'm gonna leave it as default, click next. So if you wanna review or change any of the installation settings, we can either go to previous, right? Or just review and verify all of our settings that are being selected at this point in time. So I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. And this is going to start the download process. It's going to first download all the components and then of course start to install these components as we move forward. So I'm going to fast forward here. It's pretty straightforward and then we'll get to the next screen. I'll demonstrate moving forward. Great. So it looks like 
all the components have been downloaded successfully. So I'm going to go ahead and finish. And what this is going to do is, in fact, bring me the welcome screen to Android Studio and version 4.0 beta 3, right? So I can go ahead and click on start a new Android Studio project, or I can also configure certain settings. I've demonstrated this in the previous lectures in the previous Android Studio version, but you'll notice that you can, before you can actually open up the Android Studio, you can configure and check for updates. For example, set up your AVD manager, SDK manager, settings, and so forth. Before I click on settings, I can always come back to this, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and click on start a new Android Studio project. Select a project template. It's going to give me, of course, a standard blank canvas area or certain templates that I wish to choose because these templates simply allow me to get a head start on my app that I wish to develop within Android Studio. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick any one of these. Let's say I'm going to say a basic activity and click next. Give this application a name. I'm going to say Claydesk app. The language, either Kotlin or Java. So it depends on whichever language you're comfortable with or you'd like to create the app. So I'm going to choose Kotlin for now. And minimum SDK is API 16. You can choose a different API. So if you're using one of the latest ones, which is Android Q and Preview, and of course R as well, you could do so. So I'm going to choose the stable Android 10Q. But it gives you the idea as to let you know that your app will run only on less than 1% of devices because if you were to create an app using this SDK, API 29, not many people actually use this. So if you click on Help Me Choose, it brings up another dialog box. And this is very helpful because it tells you that the majority of the apps running on Android, right, or in fact, let's say 99.6% up here are using Android 4.1, which is Jelly Bean. And the API level is 16. Whereas all the way down here, the Android platform version 8.1 Oreo uses API 27. Only 1% of the mobile phones use this particular version. So you got to be careful as to which platform you intend to develop your app on, right? So typically it's either Jelly Bean, which is the most popular, right? Whether it's API 16, 17, 18 all the way up to even 19, 21, 22 also works. But again, just wanted to quickly show you that the minimum SDK version determines the level of Android that your app will run on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to leave it as API 29 because we want the latest and greatest app on the latest platform and click Finish. And as soon as you click Finish, there we go. It's going to load the project. Since I selected a basic template, it's going to open up and spin up the template for me. Create the required necessary pre-configured files for me to start building my project. So this takes a little bit of while because it updates and scans the files. Make sure it spins up the Gradle also uh, with the Kotlin and configures the environment so that you can start programming in Kotlin. The bottom right corner, notice you'll see just a notification, a new version of 1.3.71, release of Android 4.0-1 of the Kotlin plugin is available. Because once you install Android Studio, anything, uh, any plugins that you use, for example, need to be updated, right? So you have the option of getting these notification messages. So let's expand this, and there we go. So congratulations, you've just successfully installed Android Studio version 4.0. On the right side, you can see all the new features that it comes with, and you can scroll down, kind of take a look at this. You have the Live Layout Inspector option. You have Java libraries that you can use and take a look at, and a whole bunch of new features that you can work with. Okay, so I hope this helps. Just wanted to quickly run through the installation of Android Studio 4. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. Happy to help with this. Let's move to the next lesson.